<laughs> Friday, February the 1st. Hello, everybody. Thanks for being with us on the morning show. Mr. Vu, there's a big uh, zombie film coming out today. That's right, Warm Bodies. It features Nicholas Holt, Teresa Palmer, John Malkovich is also in it as well. I had the opportunity to uh, catch up with the stars recently and uh, talk about everything from zombies to maybe necrophilia. Oh. Take a look. Oh my wow. <laughs> Nice watch. I think it's fair to say that you have officially made a new film genre, yeah. Rom Zom of sorts. Zombie rom com? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Rom Zom, I rom -zom. like that. Be dead. Much. I, I play a zombie who uh, who feels trapped. He can't communicate. He has no memory of who he was before he turned into a zombie. Um, but then he, um, one day whilst out hunting, trying to find brains to eat, he um, he comes across Teresa's character Julie, and uh, there's something about her which makes him decide not to eat her brains, but um, kind of look after her and protect her. Yeah, I gotta yeah. say, you made sort of Stockholm syndrome sweet. Well, because. Everything we know about these zombies were completely wrong. They have thoughts and feelings and they play music and they're hoarders. It's a commentary on how even though we seem like we're more connected than ever these days through social media and uh, iPhones and emails, and we really are kind of even more disconnected than we ever have been. Zombie Survival 101. Yes. What would, what would your essentials be? Okay, I'd bring like an iPod because that's important, you know, because it's inconvenient to trawl around a load of records, I think. Shotgun, for sure. Some really awesome bottles of kombucha. Mm. And some artistry products. Thanks a lot for joining me today, guys. I really appreciate it. And Thank you, you guys much. gave me hope that I can find love in a cold body, so. Oh, that's good. That sounds good. really creepy. No. I assure you that. Necrophilia? I, yes. No He's comments. really into necrophilia, actually. It's a big deal for him. Once rigor mortis is set. We're changing everything. We're seeing corpses fighting skeletons, sir. How do we shoot? Shoot that! Hi. Yeah, all my interviews either end with a high five or talking about a very inappropriate topic or inadvertently. <laughs> Something <laughs> awkward. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Rosie and I are hardcore zombie fans. In the morning, when we look like zombies, well, I look like a zombie, oh, she's always here. gorgeous. <laughs> um, we always talk about The Walking Dead, which is a series on AMC, and zombies are so hot right now, which are you wouldn't think so. zombies new vampires? Yeah, I, I'm thinking so, zombies. I mean, uh, theoretically, they shouldn't be. They're all veiny, fluidy, and dead, but... You know, the thing about zombies and why I love the movie so much is because what it does is it brings all of humanity together to fight a common enemy, no matter your gender, race, class. It's the end of the world. Zombies are about to, you know, eat your brain, so you have to come together. Love that. Love that idea. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, zombie fan. Yeah, I am not a zombie fan. The only zombie fan is Rob Zombie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rob Zombie. We're, we're fans of Rob Zombie. Yeah. <laughs> From Zombie. <laughs> the thriller video. I thought you were asking which is our favorite Rob Zombie film. I was going to say Devil's Rejects. Um, oh. And Liza was going to say Halloween 5. <laughs> <laughs> so scary, you guys. I, know. <laughs> I, I, I think the game changer was 28 Days Later. When it came out in 2002, it had the running zombie. That was zombie. horrifying. Yeah. yeah, that was, was amazing, that was like though. for real scary. And you but, know what? Who uh, made that movie is uh, Danny Boyle, who yes. made uh, Some Dog, Some Dog Millionaire. And yeah, he put together the London 2012 opening ceremonies. And the idea is the first time you ever saw zombies able to run as fast as Usain Bolt. Yeah. And so what do you do then, <laughs> right? What do you do then? I love, How do you outrun them? I love that when people talk about the zombie stuff, they're talking about it like it is like, fact, like this is a documentary. Yeah, you never yeah. know, Liza Fromer. <laughs> that is why I learned how to ride a two-wheeler bike two years ago is because I thought if there was a zombie apocalypse, <laughs> And there was a dinosaur chasing <laughs> after me with a ratio. <laughs> what is happening? Uh, this is Friday. I want to promote, uh, speaking of ROM, yeah. the museum. Oh, Whoa. did you get that at the uh, Royal Ontario Museum? I got this at the museum. museum, yeah, it's a little... Totally changed. Oh. <laughs> switch. Tangential. Like, I'm done with a song. Yeah, yeah, yeah really. I'm Let's over it. Over it. it. <laughs> <laughs> what is in that copy? <laughs> <laughs> All right, coming up, what
what's the story behind Groundhog Day? We all have a version. We'll try to figure out the truth coming out next.